New financial statistics are in and they show for the first half of 2024, identity theft and credit card fraud are up all across the country. But right here in Metro Atlanta, that increase far outpaces most cities. 11 Lives Mo Beth Yates has more. Atlanta relative to the rest of, of the country does see very, a fairly high rate of identity theft. The latest fraud statistics are out and Jack Caprol with Motley Fool says the metro area is dominating in a very bad way. 327 people per every 100,000 people in Atlanta reported some type of identity theft or fraud. And that's the second highest in the nation behind only Miami. The figures represent the first half of 2024 and officials at the FBI Atlanta field office say the numbers show a shift in crime hubs. It used to be Miami and Newark, now it's Atlanta, Miami, and Newark um, are very, very centric hubs for all types of fraud schemes. FBI Special Agent Aaron Shears says the shift began during COVID and AI and other new technology are now helping criminals get their hands on your personal and banking information. He says they've also seen a rise in fraud and even investment account scams. Last year, more than $300 million in fraud losses was reported, up 20 percent from 2022, according to the FBI. A lot of these fraudsters are now targeting uh, brokerage accounts, uh, accounts where you are literally having your retirement life savings is housed and if they can get an account takeover, pretend to be you, uh, get into your account, move those funds out and then they're gone. They, they're very hard to recover. And Sears says everyone should be on alert. We're all potential victims. Uh, there are a lot of sophisticated criminals who are trying work very, very hard just as we're talking today. We have jobs. That's their job, right? Crime Inc. is coming for your money and you just need to be vigilant about it. And Capital explains why we might be seeing so many cases in Atlanta. It's a top 10 city in terms of tourism. It has one of the largest airports in the world, let alone the United States. And that means you have folks constantly using credit cards, showing ID, exchanging contact information. And outside of Atlanta, the situation isn't much better. That Motley Fool's report lists Georgia as the state with the 10th most cases of identity fraud per capita. Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News.